And once again, welcome to another episode of Bookies Auto Detailing. And this is what we have in store for you. I will be working on this beautiful and well taken care of Mercedes-Benz A200. Oh, beautiful machine. And the interior is not so bad. Uh, it will benefit from a decent cleaning. The Alcantara seats have some uh, dead marks that will obviously uh, need some cleaning out. Now on to the exterior. Uh, the paintwork uh, is in need of some compounding as it's got some minor swell marks and minor scratches. So we'll firstly give it a good compounding, then we'll refine all of that uh, with a polish. Now, first things first, uh, we attended to the interior. Now, the interior wasn't really in a bad uh, condition, so uh, we didn't really need to go deep in the sense of cleaning. So just your standard vacuuming and drill attachments just to agitate the dirt and get rid of as much dirt as possible. Now because the interior wasn't really that dirty, there was no need for us to remove the seats. So I opted to use a blow gun uh, just to, to blow out the dirt in all those hard to reach areas. Uh, this is actually quite a handy uh, piece of equipment. If you are an aspiring detailer, I think uh, you need this in your arsenal. This comes in very handy. Then next we clean the, the pedals and it's advisable to use a dirty rag so that uh, all the, the water, all the dirty water gets trapped onto the, uh, the dirty rag instead of uh, being saturated onto the carpet. That will just mean more cleaning for you. Now using a APC and a drill attachment, we clean the, the driver's side carpets. Uh, the, the vehicle, like I said before, uh, it's not really in a bad condition. So just to give it a revamp would benefit the vehicle very much. And then after cleaning the carpets, as you can see, I moved on to the seats. Uh, these seats are a combination of leather and Alcantara. Uh, I use a microfiber pad 
in conjunction with a Alcantara cleaner. I gave the, the pad a spritz, a couple of spritz of uh, the cleaner and just gently rub the seats clean. Try not to saturate the seats with the chemical as it could leave some stains if not cleaned properly. Now let's have a look at the engine bay. Uh, it's quite dirty, so I decided to clean that as well. But unfortunately, I deleted the, the footage of the cleaning, but there's enough uh, footage of the end result. Uh, stick around, you'll enjoy it. Now moving on to the wheels, uh, using acid-based uh, wheel cleaner, uh, just give it a couple of spritz. As soon as it turns purple, it's an indication that it's actually breaking down uh, the contaminants that would be your brake dust, your road traffic uh, contamination, uh, and it's slowly breaking it down and making it easy for you to, to clean. So uh, using a wheel brush, I go through each and every spoke, cleaning it in uh, the inner barrel of the wheel. I uh, just try to get as much dirt as possible. Next, we blow dry the vehicle using a car dryer. Uh, it's important to try and get the vehicle as bone dry as possible as this helps in uh, preventing unnecessary water marks and just getting rid of water that's trapped in all these hard to reach places where your normal traditional microfiber wouldn't reach. And uh, a dry vehicle makes for uh, better masking. You know, uh, it's very really difficult to mask a vehicle that's got water running all over the place. And then after drying the vehicle, uh, we started with the compounding stage and I used the Rupes Blue Pad uh, in conjunction with the Manzana 400 compound. Like I had said before, the vehicle had some light swirls and some fine scratches that needed to be compounded out. And here's a 50-50 shot of the B-pillar. Uh, one has been compounded and the other hasn't been compounded. 
I'm sure you can see there's a huge difference as you follow the light between the two pillars. And then after the compounding, uh, we had to polish the vehicle. So then I used uh, the Manzana 3-in-1 uh, in conjunction with the Roops white pad. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm using two different uh, polishing pads, well, the first pad is actually uh, more abrasive, which is good for getting rid of uh, the swells and the scratches. And then the white one is actually uh, used for polishing, which actually refines uh, all the, the buffer trailings that could have been left from the first stage of using the blue uh, roots pad. As I had said before, I actually accidentally deleted the footage of the engine cleaning, but uh, here's uh, some footage of the end results of the cleaning and the general end results of uh, the whole detail. Now remember the vehicle was in for a two-step uh, paint correction and interior detail. So yeah, this is uh, how everything turned out after I would say possibly 12 man hours And guys, if you've been watching all along up until now, I thank you very much. We're nearing the end of the video. And if you like this type of content, once again, please uh, uh, please share, please like, uh, don't forget to, to subscribe. Uh, please let's help uh, this channel grow. And once again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, catch you on the next one. I think the next video will be having uh, a different type of vehicle, a Audi RS3. Yeah, uh, just tune in. Uh, once again, thank you. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, share. Thanks a lot. Double tango.